much and time now for a conversation with former First Lady Laura Bush. She's here to talk about a new book called We Are Afghan Women, Voices of Hope. She wrote the introduction and launched the efforts to get it published. The book includes Afghan women's accounts of their successes, their triumphs, despite great adversity there. It's a topic that Mrs. Bush has been fiercely passionate about since her time in the White House. Mrs. Bush, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. You are so invested in these women and these stories, and I actually thought it was so striking in your introduction. You said in sixth grade, you actually wrote an essay about That's Afghanistan. That's right. When I was in sixth grade, I chose Afghanistan as the most exotic, faraway country, <laughs> never expecting that I would actually visit Afghanistan and become friends with so many people who live there. Yeah, and who knew that all these years later, you yeah. would not only be a part of it when you were in the White House, but that you have remained so caring and, and, and concerned about their circumstances. What is this book about? Why should well, this is really the stories of Afghan women, and it's they're, they're very interesting. I think people will be interested to read about them. It's a great history of Afghanistan. Many of these women left Afghanistan with their families when the Soviets came in and then went back. And most of them went back after September 11th when, they, when the whole world spotlight turned on Afghanistan and people saw how women were treated. And American women especially wanted to do something to help our sisters in Afghanistan. This is a collection of stories. Some of these women you know personally. Yes. And some of them have been through unimaginable That's right. tragedy. That's and right. Somehow overcome. This is a story of hope, though. It, it, it really is. It is a story of hope. And things are better in Afghanistan for women, for sure. Afghanistan just had a great election. Uh, we have, they have a new president, President Ghani, and a new first lady who's very active as the First Lady, working with uh, on women's issues. She's uh, studying many, many women are imprisoned in Afghanistan for things like looking lewd mm. or uh, things like that. So she's reviewing all of those sentences that women have. And many, many women are getting out of prison now in Afghanistan. You recently wrote in an op-ed <clears throat> that you're glad that President Obama has yeah. decided to keep a troop That's presence right. in Afghanistan past 2016. They need that kind of security to be stable and to try to build the sort of institutions that Afghanistan needs to support a democracy. Uh, they need that security. And so I'm heartened that he chose to leave our troops in there for a while. You worry about some future president not doing that, that, pulling out those troops? I'm hoping that whoever becomes president next will continue to pay attention mm -hmm. to women's issues, especially in Afghanistan, and to just the security of Afghanistan and of other countries that affect our own security in our country. Speaking of campaigns, as we were sort of doing, yeah. of course, we saw you out on the campaign trail. That's right. On we had a your brother-in-law. Yes, you did. Exactly. Got our brother, Jeb, who I think would have made a great president. So now we've gone back to the sidelines. Yeah. You briefly were into the political <laughs> yeah. mix there. Are you happy to be out of it? But are you disappointed in the result? Uh, well, I'm sad that Jeb is out of it. Yeah, yeah sure, because I think he would have been a great president. But George and I are watching with much interest from the sidelines. As you know, George is um, really determined not to make remarks about uh, politics. And so we're back to that side. <laughs> and you share that because there's so much going on in politics yeah. right now. I there imagine. Is. You're full of opinions. I am full of opinions, but I don't think I'll tell them to you today. <laughs> we saw you last week, of course, at the funeral for Mrs. Nancy Reagan. What did she mean to you? You've known her for years. I have known her for years, and I liked her a lot. I went back after uh, we heard she had died and looked at photographs of me with her. Mm -hmm. uh, we did the Red Dress Project together about um, women and heart health because, of course, she loved red, and mm -hmm. she loved red dresses. Uh, the funeral was beautiful. I understand she planned it all. And of course, like everything she did, it was perfect. Uh, George and I got to live with the benefits of her decorating when we moved to the White House. And, and uh, you know, in some ways, it's sort of the end of an era. And for us, uh, with President Bush and Barbara, at so close to the same age as Nancy Reagan, of course, it, uh, we, we think about them also. Mm -hmm. I think about this club of first ladies. First it's ladies. a very tight exactly. club. Exactly, and getting smaller. Mrs. Obama, of course, is about to wrap up her time in the White House. Mm -hmm. You know a little something about being a former first lady. <laughs> Any good advice for her? Well, I think she'll enjoy it. I think <clears throat> she's probably looking forward to it in some ways. You, you know you know when you're elected that four years later, your <laughs> term is up. It's not like other things. So I think you do start to anticipate a more normal life and, and I wonder what it's going to be like. But also I think you start to think about what you can continue to do mm. 
uh, that you've already worked on that'll be uh, productive and successful for our country. Well, that brings us full circle because you are certainly doing that with this book. It's called We Are Afghan Women, Voices of Hope. Mrs. Bush, it's so good to have you Thank here. You Thank so you so much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.